here that you like? Well, I, I think the governor presented a lot of uh, ideas that will be ideas that we can work with him on. The, the concept uh, in the education arena of bringing children and their families and the communities together for a learning environment is, is one that I think we really can work together on. It's very important. Um, the, the concepts of bringing teachers into the equation, I think we're going to have to look at that more carefully. Also, his proposal for restructuring school funding is, is uh, remarkable, but a lot of unanswered questions there. So I think we owe him a full and careful and objective and cooperative analysis of the details that he'll be coming forward with of what he wants to do there. Um, there are some questions that are very important that need to be answered. His proposal to drop the charge off from 23 mills to 20 mills could be very, very damaging to poor school districts across the state. How so? Well, the, the use of the 23 mill charge off recycles uh, or recirculates a lot of money to the poor districts and is very equalizing. So, what he's proposing in that aspect is very disequalizing. So, perhaps there are some things he is going to propose in the plan that will counterbalance that, and we think you know, we need to look carefully at that. It's also potentially very, very costly to, um, depending on how they. Uh, structure the formula. Uh, so I don't know where that money will come from. So we'll have to see what their proposal is and, and what the what the timeline is for phasing into it. But um, I, I think uh, we owe him a full objective cooperative uh, evaluation and, uh, and work together on that proposal that he's going to make. It appears that he's going to give the school districts the option of permanently taking themselves off the uh, taxpayer protection plan for property tax uh, value growth, which uh, will be interesting to see how that's received mm -hmm. as a, a means of, of giving districts less need to go back to the voters uh, with accountability for levies. We'll see where that goes. Many districts have already achieved that by other mechanisms uh, that, that uh, have kept them off the ballot. But we'll see uh, where that goes. I think we can owe him and our communities a full discussion and debate uh, of, of that plan. So I look forward to that. Okay. In the area of uh, the economy, um, I think mostly he's challenged us to do better, but I don't think he really provided us with any plan. So we'll we'll see if that uh, gets filled in with some specificity here in the near future. We we do have a state that hasn't turned around, so um, that's, a, that's a big challenge. I would hope that some of the rhetoric that we heard today that was very positive would become a theme. We've, we've had the state talk down by right. some of our leaders uh, for over a year, and that is discouraging. So we need more bold, courageous, positive leadership to help uh, restore courage to this great state. And I, I think today's message, of course, was positive, and we need more of that. That should be our theme as we work together to try to help our state uh, get strong. So I look forward to partnering with the administration on every aspect that we can uh, find a common ground on. And there'll be some places where we have substantial disagreements as well. But uh, that's our role as we work together to make policy. Okay.